he was already very strict in staring at me and all of that so he was already in character and i'm someone who likes to be prepared before i go into the set so i i felt very uncomfortable before i got in i i'm pretty sure that after i'm done with movies i'm going to go back to medicine i do have a lot of respect for women who actually stand up and say that this is something which i wouldn't want to do and it's always right i think for us to have a healthy conversation he was the one who educated me he's a man and he educated me about how i should go about and it's not wrong for you to ask for your rights you know um, i'm a huge admirer of yours i think for for what you stand for it's a uh, it's an absolute revelation i've been researching about you and what you stand for it's it's truly amazing but but first of all how has been your association with the netflix for this wonderful quite a different experience actually i see that the director and the the whole crew felt a lot more relieved and liberated when they had the ind- independence to um uh, the freedom that they had to shoot whatever they felt they could and not have it being censored and all of that so i i think there was a lot of freedom around the sets and that was very different all right and you have someone like prakash raj who stands literally for freedom in a way yeah, yeah. part of your intimidated the word i would say is intimidated when we walk into the set i was very scared no because he already had that aura of the dad mm. he walked into the set as the dad i came in as myself i said hi hello he was already very strict in staring at me and all of that so he was already in character i was yet to yeah. sink in so it started off right there so it has been a very interesting year for for all of us yeah. and um, now netflix is uh, is something that a lot of people all across the or the, the country and the world they've been consuming um mm-hmm. ott platforms and netflix is is getting that in many ways as well um how do you look at how are you look at this new phenomenon the way people are consuming their entertainment um you know together new manner at their own convenience i think we've just come to realize how important uh, media is uh, for our lives because as right. much as we love the uh, state of mind we are in to always make us feel better through, to go through an emotion we need movies so even if there were no theaters open we had so much good content coming in that it kept us uh going through all those hard times and uh yeah so i think it i realized how blessed i am to be part of this this side of art yeah so what all did you did you watch in the last say 8 months quite a lot of films actually one which i loved was capernaum there's this film mm-hmm. so that one hit hard so i think that was that would be my personal favorite from whatever i'd watched that's the thing which came up to my head when it comes to this this short film of yours it's part of uh four films coming together what was there in the writing of this particular short film that that really attracted you uh vetman sir actually didn't give me a full fledged script uh, he only told me that it was going to be for 30 minutes and this was the line where it's about a dad and a daughter and the conflict and the trauma that um uh takes place after a series of events so um this is all i was aware of and i didn't have the dialogue version yet and i'm someone who likes to be prepared before i go into the set so i i felt very uncomfortable before i got in uh but after i went there i i felt glad because it gave me a very different perspective because if i was already aware of what was happening i wouldn't have been a uh, a uh, version to that particular location and that particular emotion he told me exactly what i was going to do a few minutes before i was aware of the whole script but <clears throat> what happened during that scene came right then and there so i was there in that moment i didn't have uh, uh, anything practiced already so whatever ec- emotions came forward was as raw as it came out of me so and and that way i i think this was one of the most um, uh, uh, raw performances i've done after kali I did a film called Kali with Dulkar. It's a Malayalam film. I think in oh. that I was this vulnerable. I think after that I put myself out there just for this, because I wasn't prepared. I wasn't aware of what I might be, uh, what might come at me. So, how different is it to work in a film which is say thirty minutes long compared to a full fledged feature film? Oh yeah, uh, actually, in uh, uh, I haven't been part of an anthology or a short film before for me to be aware of it. Uh, of the impact it might create but then i never thought uh, even for a second that it uh, might not be as powerful as 
a feature film because it was Vijayman sir who was doing it. I, I was pretty confident about that, but I always was worried in the location because it takes you a while to sink into a particular character. I've always done films which I say uh, 80 days, 150 days, uh, uh, but now I had to shoot something for eight days and go through these emotions, own it by that time. So I felt that was very quick for me, and uh, I came to realize that it wasn't hard. But the results were uh, uh, phenomenal because I worked with such a team. I I worked with a team which owned up the whole environment, the whole world immediately from day one. Prakash sir turned out to be the dad and uh, the one who uh, who gained my trust. But then in the end, I'm betrayed by my father. So he played that in the rawest form possible. And Vetriman sir kept prepping us in between shots. He would talk about what happened around the world and. it would be a very personal conversation he would talk to me about how uh, uh, girls had a future they had everything planned but then suddenly another person's intrusion might change the whole thing for them so he would quote real life incidents and that didn't make us go so even between shots i don't remember i don't remember eating uh, uh, when we shot because i was always there in that environment and we shot throughout so those eight days was packed even after i i was done shooting for the film i carried that burden for a, for quite a while it was pretty traumatic yeah you wanted to pursue your your medical degree and uh, you gave a film for a while and and you went ahead and completed your course and what was what was it important for you uh, to just complete your your education i did my first film in my fifth fourth year so when it released it was around the fifth fifth year but i was very clear in my head that i wanted to continue medicine but then after, so i waited for a year to do my next film and then i came to realize that i had a, <coughs> I had a passion for cinema that i wasn't aware of i was always a dancer i didn't think that i liked this side of uh, uh art so i came to realize that i had this in me and i wanted to go ahead and do it that's why i waited to finish my uh, course and then start this journey and i i'm pretty sure that after i'm done with movies i'm going to go back to medicine because i i like being a doctor i like being of some use but but you know you are the celebrated uh, actress down south especially uh, of course all across india as well um, i I've, i've seen your your functions where when you come on stage people just clap till 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 they just till their hands hurt and uh, you have this phenomenal following but you know many people would give up almost anything to to get this sort of sort of um, adulation but you seem to be uh, having this this uh, i think maybe uh, this approach that it's it's more like a like a passion and a hobby for you and uh, medicine is like a full time <laughs> i wouldn't say that because um maybe it was and um i didn't take it that serious when i did premium because i didn't expect it to do that well and i wasn't aware of what i wanted so maybe around that period i was a little unaware of what i wanted to do next but now i'm pretty clear because along with all this love comes a lot of responsibility because people who uh, uh, people whom i watched growing up i remember seeing them and realizing oh maybe i should do it this way or maybe i should live this way so i think in a way media has a huge influence on people and when i'm put in this platform i think i have a lot of responsibility to be correct myself i i never knew um uh, uh, i never took a side up until now we had conversations during our short <coughs> where i would say i I'm, i'm not for this or that that time prakash sir and vetri man sir would say no if you're not for this you're always for the oppressor you're not there for the oppressed so there are few things which i picked up in between where you need to also be politically uh, educated about what is happening because you're in this platform you cannot end up doing uh, say a role which is not right for example i i uh, if i um, playing a character is different but showing something which doesn't exist in the society is wrong so i came to realize that i cannot take the uh, the so called love that i'm getting right now i cannot take it for granted and uh, just go about uh, thinking of it as just another uh, the hobby so i i don't think i'm there in that space but i've moved on and i've become more responsible right now right so um now uh, you're someone who who just walks the talk and uh, who actually does what 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 uh, you say or believe in Uh, like for example you you said in an interview that uh, you have a lot of respect for for, uh, for actresses who don't merely um, consider themselves as as love interests in a movie and and they want something more than that 
so they yeah. actually should just stand up for for women empowerment uh, that they talk about in their functions and and uh, interviews uh, yeah. while they're actually uh, doing movies um that's 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 a wonderful statement to make to be a, more than merely a love interest of a hero in a film hmm. no but that's a personal choice uh, i uh, few of my friends prefer uh, films like that because they have a different journey each actor has a very different journey people get there at a different time people have different emotions when they shoot a particular film i can talk for myself i can talk about my journey i do have a lot of respect for women who actually stand up and say that this is something which i wouldn't want to do and it's always right i think for us to have a healthy conversation and uh, i'm i've been blessed to work with a team and directors who always wanted to have a healthy conversation who were okay with inputs and um, when you own up when you take up a particular role and when you give suggestions it shouldn't come across like you're arrogant i work with people who always felt happy that we gave such suggestions because it came from a place which would enhance the whole script so um i think it just cannot work one way uh it also needs to be accepted by the director and in that way i think uh, for example uh, director shekhar kamula he's phenomenal uh, there are things that i didn't know that i should do there were times in the set where he would say i think you should just put your foot down and not show up in the sets today if you were not being treated this way he is a director of the film and he gave the actor he said that you shouldn't come to the set if you're treated that way that's where yeah. you stand so you shouldn't uh, think that you shouldn't just give an excuse for their behavior and you shouldn't do that to yourself i was always in a very i i was always at this very subtle and very uh, uh, delicate person so when he gave me a lot of thought about how i, I should be treated in this industry or in an environment which is always um, uh, i wouldn't say male dominant but it's always used to being this way uh so you need to create your space so he was the one who educated me he is a man and he educated me about how i should go about and it's not wrong for you to ask for your rights so it cannot be just one way where i fight for something you need to have someone who is who respects you in return so it's always uh uh, uh it's vice versa it it works this way